everybody. Welcome to AJS News. This is video two of two for today. I still don't like Superman, man. I still don't. Guys, we have an excellent deal. 30% off now of the G Fuel <laughs> Angry Joe code. It's almost never 30%. Never. Alex. Yep. So get it now. There's a new flavor, Alex. Mm-hmm. Of Ego Boost. Yeah. I just tried it. It's delicious, Alex. It is really good. Just like the deliciousness of the DC Universe and the character of Superman. This was revealed that uh, uh, in our last episode, go watch it. There's uh, our Fallout review, uh, second half review was received poorly because we gave it a 7 out of 10 ultimately. Um, and it, it's our lowest rated video in the as long as I can remember. <clears throat> And we talked a little bit about it in the first video. Go check that oh out. I'll give you one comment here if you're just coming into this news episode. Um, I'm starting to distrust these reviews. This show was amazing. The first half was a 9 out of 10. We, we gave it an 8 out of 10. The second half was an 8 out of 10 for me. We gave it a 6 out of 10, though I did seven revise oh, it yeah. up to 7. Uh, yes, the second half wasn't as good as the first, but it was still amazing. Angry Crew are coming off as food critics that give a restaurant a one-star rating because the delivery driver was five minutes late. By the way, I, I give I still give four star ratings and five star ratings to the Uber Eats driver, even if the food is cold. Because I know the first I expect it's gonna be cold. I don't care, and uh, you know I, I try to tip them well. And then a guy says, laughing my ass off, yo, for real. These guys are never satisfied with anything. So apparently you have to distrust our reviews because we're one point off on the first one and two points off in the second one. Come on, we man. just liked it a little less man. than you did, or I like. I don't want to speak for you guys. I liked it a little it less, me. and I still liked it, but I liked it a little less than everyone else, I guess. I love it when when our opinions match our audience. God, the pat on the it feels so fucking good. But sometimes we are gonna have differing opinions. Yeah. But don't get it twisted. We don't hate the fall. I don't want to see those types of comments. I love <laughs> the Fallout TV series. I think it's one of the best adaptations ever i just expected just a little it was so strong coming out and the the next four are great just not as strong as the first four and as critics when you get into the minutia and i think maybe it's the way we reviewed it because we did all eight and broke it into two parts if you were doing if everybody was having to wait one week for each episode you might find more weaknesses in the episode when you're like oh that's it okay well this is okay and my and you might see that. And so that's why our, our ratings go up and down. So maybe we'll review it differently in the future. But remember, our rating, we're a little harder on stuff. It's tough love. It's tough love. So a six out of a, a seven out of ten overall is not not bad. I mean, that's an IGN nine. That's an IGN ten out of ten in my opinion. All right, guys. Thank you all so much uh, for sticking with us. And um, you guys clearly didn't like the show. But you also didn't pay attention to it as well. It's these comments that trigger me. I do like the show, and I was paying attention. That's what they want. It's rage. They don't make it It's a rage bait. And I learned that Alex doesn't like Superman. No, I don't. But I, I've told you this before. And now I'm Jeez. the commenter. Get out. Get out. No, you, you're allowed not to like Superman. Secretly, I'm gonna go and buy for his birthday all of the good Superman comics. I have all of the good it. Superman comics. I thought you were going to make a joke. No, I actually do have. I thought you were going to be like, I have all of them. All None. the good ones. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. All right. <laughs> so, Alex, what the hell else has been happening other than our super controversial Fallout uh, I wanna, TV series opinion? I want to talk about stuff that there's no controversy surrounding whatsoever. Oh, okay. None. okay. <laughs> None. No controversy Thank here. fucking God. Uh, let's talk about Star Wars <laughs> Outlaws. Um, God damn it. Uh... <laughs> If you haven't seen, uh, there's a horse face protagonist that looks like uh, Matt Damon from Team America. <laughs> <Marvel, please. laughs> Uh, Joe, I I don't know if I can find that picture. I have the picture. Yeah, put it put it up there, I, Joe. I to him this morning. Listen, yeah. I know uh, you know a lot of uh, people are fighting. Oh, she she's not ugly, and she is ugly, bro. Look at this fucking picture and tell me that there's nothing wrong with it. Okay, yeah. Okay, there's something wrong with it. We we. <laughs> She looks like a puppet, and it might have just been a still frame that's looking weird. 
but there that are, looked bad. There are pictures of her looking gorgeous. That and people bad. are posting it going, look how gorgeous she is. And then there are pictures, again, because Ubisoft's engine is terrible. And yeah. it has been terrible for a long time. And then they actually changed the actress's face. And some of the images look terrible. Yeah. Um, and so <laughs> Outlaws is very controversial right now. Everything about it is is weird. Mm, um, it's Ubisoft. It's Star Wars. It has a female protagonist. It is now locking off content. Uh, behind, Jabba the Hutt. Jabba the Hutt mission behind paid DLCs. So there are two DLCs. There's one for 110 uh, or there are, uh, packages. Normal version, $70, or you can get the $110 deal oh, and a $130 edition. We actually did a full uh, trailer breakdown <laughs> yes, where we saw her face live, and we were talking about how she kind of looks like a mannequin. And again, it's... It's bad. It's not because it's a female-led game. It's because Ubisoft is terrible. Right. And, it, and there are screens like this that... They're do, trying to recover their money from the, the previous the games or something? Um, so, so if I get the Ubisoft... Subscription for one month. For one month. Yes. And then I can't play that. You job, can. I you can. do. So the Ubisoft subscription. <laughs> yeah, it gives you everything. You yeah. Go. So the way that we are going to play Star Wars Outlaws is we are going to subscribe for Ubisoft Plus mm -hmm. for one month for and eighteen dollars. All of us. And Me then, too. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set reminders, calendar reminders for all of us. Ubisoft better pay us for this promo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like no, that's not what we want. <laughs> and then we're going to cancel. And then I will remind you here. On AJS News to cancel uh, because I don't think that this game looks like it's worth it's $7. But we'll do that. That's coming August because the game's not. Don't buy it now. Yeah, especially no, for 110. You're literally no. buying it once and then canceling after you finish the game. Yeah, and the license will run out that they've got for Star Wars. Like if you go back to the last video, Ubisoft's taking away licenses from people. Yeah. So. I'll um, even create a graphic for it. Just remind me, Alex, so that each, each, news, oh. each news episode will have a little pop-up that says, two more weeks to cancel your Ubisoft, Ubisoft Plus. Plus. It's a three-click cancellation. Yeah. So it was pretty quick. It's actually, it was pretty, pretty, pretty yeah. interesting. All right, let's talk about something I know we are all interested in. Uh, AI-generated films. Um, there's one coming out. No brain out. movies? Uh, no, how dare you? There, that is <laughs> fuck you, Joe. There's way more art in every one of those. And you, I, I, I love fuck you. That You're guy. the one that brought it to us. I love that guy. You have like CDs that he. So when you buy his movies, apparently you he burns to. them himself and writes uh -huh. the name on the. I, I, That's fucking sweet. I gave Joe every Neil Breen movie. It nice. Did. It was probably that the was greatest amazing. birthday gift he's probably ever the gotten. Probably the greatest birthday gift. Because I messaged him. I was like, hey, I love your movies. Is it can I get a collection of it and instead he, of buying one at a time? You and don't then, have what he needs. And then which are he then, did not he did not follow me or he did, did he respond. he didn't respond. But then I told one of my friends, he's like, Oh, his movies are pretty funny. You should check them out. He, she followed him and he followed her. I was like, you know why? It's a girl, <laughs> Joe. Have you seen his movies? <laughs> he wants to every scene. He gets <laughs> naked yes. and forces her to get naked. I'm like, that's cool, man. <laughs> They're like, wow, you're so uh, buff oh, and wait, smart. <laughs> he is. Of the course, he follows best the girl hacker. back. <laughs> yeah, he is the world's greatest hacker. His movies are really funny. You fly and wingman for him, Joe. All right. Yeah, that's yeah. basically what it was. Uh, but this is a different AI-generated romance. It's uh, TV maker TCL is announcing uh, their, it's called Next Stop Paris. And I, it's creepy. It is super fucking creepy, and it looks super fucking horrible and horrifying at all times. Um, but did you know that the script is not AI generated? An actual a set of human beings actually wrote that script? I made no. them watch a little bit of it. Yeah, it is really creepy. Yeah. Uh, it's got that, it is Lifetime movie-esque. And when you watch it, it just has this unnerving feeling. It's not as bad as other fucking AIs where like shit is like turning into other shit. They at least tried to make it somewhat make sense. But I hope this is not the fucking future. And I, I at first I was like, oh, no, TLC TV is going to put this on. And no, it's TCL. Didn't that channel That's die, my... though? Because that channel TLC? Turned into, it turned into is like it still? Honey Boo Boo and like House Flippers. And yeah. the History Channel is yeah. Ancient Aliens and Forge and Fire. I actually like Forge <laughs> and Fire. I was like, I like the aliens. Uh, and there's a show called Alone. Well, that's an interesting well, y'all are the fucking ones that destroyed that channel then. Uh, they like no, the Honey like Boo Boo aliens. and you like the aliens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> 
Next stop, Paris. There's a digital trailer of this stupid yes. AI movie, and it is fucking awful. You should see it just to laugh at It'll it. It'll give you nightmares. Like, it is really it's unsettling weird. watching this thing. And they try to confuse you to th- make you think it's coming out on TLC, but it's TCL. <laughs> I have a little dyslexia in case yeah. you don't know so that's, yeah. that what that is. Maybe that's why I didn't like Fallout as much as you did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe, stop it. Stop it. Yeah. I did nothing. Hey, yeah. you fell asleep, so don't fall asleep. He should fell asleep for like one second. Everybody's blaming me for falling asleep instead of Joe. Why do I have Look, to get this? I closed my eyes for like a minute. Joe, someone. One that... minute. <laughs> I can't tell. I looked over you. Your eyes were asleep. I was like, oh, he's just, he's just. And then I looked over again. I was again. killing the okay. bug. So then the I immediately kicked you away. There's a, there's a bug. One minute. Oh. And that was during the, the climactic final battle. That one so called climactic. Angry. There was a climax to that battle? Yes. Okay. One of the, uh, it just seems kind of nitpicky, guys. It does. One of the worst reviews I've seen on the channel. I like when all of the dudes who uh, who are just indiscriminately murdering a bunch of people stop murdering people to look at a ghoul for no reason <clears> and then <throat> stop their fight and then let he they let him shoot them all. And then that scene. It's a cool scene. That's it. It's cool. Uh, I don't give a shit about the score. I like watching the videos and getting someone else's perspective. I like that guy. Good on you, logical or a person. Or, we can like different things and still be friends. No. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's talk about Tekken 8, which... Uh, yes. Tekken 8. Uh, Tekken 8. Uh, Steam rating season pass. is not going... We talked s- about it last week. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so after Tekken 8 was released, they added microtransactions and a store. And people were like, oh, that's weird. And like all these new costumes. And like, okay, whatever. And then the season pass. And people were like, look, enough is enough. And then the game's director went out to talk about how, you know, their game costs 10 times more. And I don't know how... <laughs> games can can do this and you know we we really need all of this extra money and then everyone proceeded to show him other games with significantly more content from smaller development teams that made less money mm. and won all just, the awards that are doing just fine <laughs> yeah it's just a matter of making some money on your video game versus making all of the fucking money on your video game yeah yeah and people are not happy about it so tekken 8 which was overwhelmingly positive at one point yes is now mixed the good most recent you one, don't do this shit don't trick people or you know put something that, that we all hate afterwards it, it feels like an activision move more like a activision it's blizzard capcom movie. thing now yeah so yeah it does it does suck and so uh really just want to see how they react to it if nothing's going to happen if they're just like look this is the way the game is going to go from here on out that's what they're doing they're, yeah they'll probably just same write. thing with mortal kombat oh. fighting games are, are getting worse guys and i'm tired of pretending that it, they're not they are and we will keep watch. We'll we'll keep monitoring it. Um, part of the reason why I didn't do a Mortal Kombat review this year, which is very very sad, because I always do Mortal Kombat's. I just got it. It came out the wrong time, and I got really fucking depressed. Yeah, you know, fucking selling, fucking fatalities. When I've been asking for a third fatality forever. Holiday. Ones. I think I've been asking for a third fatalities for like ten, for a decade. You want a third fatality? Ten dollars. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I'll keep him alive. Wait, a sixth of the price of the game? <laughs> what? <sighs> yeah. And then they were, remember they were going to do one at one a month because there was going to be Halloween, then Thanksgiving. Then, they, then there's a Thanksgiving Christmas. fatality. That's right. There yeah. was a and Thanksgiving then, and a Christmas one. Maybe a Christmas there fatality. There was because they released all three at the same time for the Oh, Halloween. shit. That's right. Yeah. yeah. All right. And well, then a New Year's fatality. No, I'm that, that the I ball drops. Up. The, yeah, we can, we can come up. We can come up with them for you. Champagne. So the ball bottle, drops. Like, then what, what's ah. a, what's a, a President's Day? Uh, fucking George Washington comes in, oh. bites you with his fucking wooden teeth. Valentine's Day, Cupid's oh, arrows. Right, forgot for about sure. that. There you go. So St. Patrick's Day, he the he chases all of the snakes into thinking, you. No, you force the guy the to dance. drink. Do the dance poison. on his face. That'd be oh sweet. yeah, yeah, with the leprechaun <laughs> dance. <laughs> I like. Okay, I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah. blood and guts everywhere. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Mm-hmm. April. The there you go. Fucking nether realm. <laughs> we did it for you. $10 uh, each. All right, let's talk about Slay the Spire 2. One, Slay the Spire is a game that, uh, Keith, if you're watching, you need to stop playing because you've been playing nonstop forever. <laughs> Keith! Uh, really good game. We're hang out. Let's uh, play some board games. Uh, Slay the Spire 2 is coming out, uh, and we talked about this company that had made this game that were on Unity. Unity mm. decided last like last year that they were going to start charging some of these indie developers yep. after the fact. And they're like, well, we're going to start charging more. And all of these indie companies are like, look, we can't trust you. And if you do shit like that, we're going to have to switch 
engines. Well, Slay the Spire 2 is coming out on Godot, the open source engine. So this mm. is the first one that I've seen where a okay. large enough indie company with a major popular and successful major and release. good game is going to be on, on, um, wow. on new stuff. So this is the direction that we kind of wanted to see yes. the industry go yeah. because these indie companies kind of being held hostage by Unity was a shitty situation. Yeah. So Megacrit said last year um, that despite already having spent two years building its next game in Unity, that it would switch and they kept to it. So um, Cool. Good on them. Good on you guys. Um, fuck Unity. <laughs> and then let's talk about the end of an era. Uh, Battlefield 2042 uh, is not getting any more seasons, so it is... Oh, wow. Well, thank God! Well, I know it's better now. Yeah. If Joe, everybody tells me all the fucking time, you know, each time I bring something up, it's like, yes, I care a little less than when it came out. If it was better when it came out, and then you, then you have this upward trend, hey, man, we all be basking. You you might not even be talking about the last season. It might have continued. Yeah. But it's it's better now, but now it's ending. Yeah, but when did yeah. they take my money? The, a long time ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah okay. When it wasn't good. But <laughs> okay, so so uh end of an era, honestly, uh good. I think they made multiple missteps with this series, with this franchise, and I am looking forward to moving past Battlefield twenty forty whatever uh i don't know what the next one they're gonna call are we gonna go back to 2142 two? please don't you remember there were news stories where they were like we're gonna do something else within the universe like a hero shooter or some yeah. bullshit i hope that project is fucking dead yeah and we get here's how to make the fans happy bad company three yes i'm in i'm in Let's if you it. have that sound design like they used to. The dead whales. Oh, mm, yeah. No, not that sound design. Not that one. But you're right. Yeah. That prepared me for battle. Prepared you for just yeah. that? Just that? Yep. You ready I'm to go? I'm ready. Whoa, 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 I'm ready to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't the the music director like win an Oscar or something? They're like, oh, she's, she made something really amazing. It's like, I think this is a plant from Activision designed to ruin your game because... Like, no, and then there was that straight-up audio feedback noise in one of the soundtracks. <laughs> it's supposed to be like distressing you, I guess. Cool. Uh, so the game was only supposed to get four seasons, but it got seven. Uh, and that's probably Damn. because the first three were useless. Right. Uh, remember, there was a bunch of modes they put out that they immediately killed because no one wanted to play them. That was just despite the fan base. Yeah, that they were. <laughs> Fuck you. Here's three more seasons. So if Battlefield 2142 or 2042 can get seven seasons. How much is Suicide Squad? I still think six. Less, You're at six. Less. Joe's at five. Uh, I'm at five. Four? Joe's at three. <laughs> Oh, right. You said less. They wouldn't complete. Yeah. So we'll have to go back and for posterity's sake. But now, uh, so DICE, Criterion, Ripple Effect, and now Motive are going to be all working on Battlefield. Some companies working on some of the single-player stuff. The next one, which they have not announced. Um, and some will be working on the multiplayer. Um, yes. I will have to see what they end up doing. Uh, I hope it's something interesting like Bad Company. Three. But I... I don't know. That I think Company I played... 3 with amazing sound design, big squads, and uh, classes, no, no hero shooter. Uh, it's going to come out, and it's going to be nothing that you guys want. Yeah, absolutely No, I, th not. I think that they have to do a course correct, guys. They do. Yeah, I'm I agree going, with I'm, that. I'm, I'm going to push back against you. It's very easy for them to say they're going to fuck it up again, and they probably will, but <laughs> they do need... <laughs> They, they do need the will. course correct. <laughs> if they know what's good with for them. them. Yes, they need to fix their shit. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> well, we'll be there for it's that. It's like, what was it, the How CEO? It's like, the problem is, well, I, I, I figured it out. Okay. We need to make good games. Oh, right. That yeah. was uh, uh, Embracer. Embracer. Embracer CEO. <laughs> I just want to say that even though it's another era. <laughs> ah. Guys, guys. I know that I have a yacht why and I three mansions, this but before? this is why they pay me the big bucks. What if we make good games? <laughs> <laughs> that story was way funnier than what we gave credit for when we first covered it. Yeah, I was like, well, I love it. I see why he's on top. Yeah, yeah he's that's, that's he gets the big paid. Bucks, yeah. mm. <laughs> 
Go ahead. Sorry, Alex. Sorry. I distracted no. it. No, totally fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it. It's gone. I guess okay. Don't be sad. This is just how it works out sometimes. Ooh. Remember, you remember that's that? How, for, yeah. how, how great the characters were in, yes. in that game. Don't be sad. All right, that's all I want to talk about, that, that garbage fire. Oh, no, let's talk about Mikey Barra. Uh, Mikey Barra uh, was the uh, head of Blizzard for a while, and he uh, tweeted out some things I want to read to you. He says, When he beats a game, he has often has a thought, I wish I could give these folks another 10 or $20 because it was worth more than my initial 70 um, I thought about this idea for a while as a player since I've been diving into single player games lately. Um, I think it's real funny that now that he's no longer in, in responsible for paying his developers and people who work for him, he's really concerned with how much that they make for their product. Yes, but, yes. Um, <clears throat> it's like you were kind of you had the opportunity, and you know, I, I mentioned this because he worked for Blizzard, and I have so many friends who still now and at one point worked for Blizzard, and they were treated oh, like ab- paid. Yes. absolute shit directly <laughs> under um, you know the, these guys. So, uh, what do you think about being able to tip? I, for one, I'm already upset because Alamo Draft House is doing this now. Yeah, it's like, oh, well, we have to add this on oh, top. I, I was hate like, look, that so I used much. to tip a lot more. Yeah, but now you're doing this they automatically. They force us to tip. Like, and the service is bad. Yes, it was like if the, what, the service was terrible. I was like, this is not what I ordered. This is not my drink. And like, no, it's fine. It's 18 percent already on top of whatever I get. Mm-hmm. And then next they're gonna be like, well, the chef made your food. Do you want to tip him too? Yeah. It's like, how about you pay your employees more? Yeah. And uh, then excuse I'll... me. There was a guy that ordered all of the uh, frozen food. He got to tip him too. Yeah. So for the for the chef to put in the microwave. I, I think tipping culture is. You're talking about Alamo. Hand. It is, and uh, like I've worked service, you've worked, I've worked service, service, and yes. so it's like that. That's been, and so it's just like it's just wild, um, and it's just kind of silly that this guy, who again was in kind of in charge and had the ability to make sure these people were paid. It's pretty about. fucked up that all of a sudden he's concerned about whether developers are are getting more money. Well, when you were a CEO, how about you fucking pay the developers better yeah. and not treat them like fucking shit? Exactly. And then afterwards, expect people to do all of the donating for you. That's typical fucking uh, corporate greed. Yeah, you we're know. Gonna, the cost is going to go to you. <laughs> so the, the problem is he's mentioning these games like, let's say, Red Dead Redemption. Let's say you want to give them $10. Do you think the developer of that game gets that $10? Do you think the shareholders get that $10? Yeah. At no point in time yes. do I ever want to tip That's the shareholders as well. of Activision Blizzard or 2K or any of these other things. Yeah. If it's like, hey, the, the head developer, like this is a pool and you can give them money that we don't touch. Maybe, but I'd also rather just you take care of them. And if I really love a game, I will buy a second copy and give it to a buddy and be like, "Hey, I loved it. You may too." Yeah. So it's like this is this is silly. T- tipping tipping culture a little out of control, but I, I do support tipping. Um, yeah. It made me feel really good when I was younger and working at McDonald's. Uh, made me. Feel, I'm I'm back in the day. I used to be pretty attractive to soccer moms. Because <laughs> in the fucking <laughs> drive-through, I would get tips. <laughs> You know how much that made my day when mom came and gave me like a five dollar tip. I was like, "Oh shit, yeah, I'm pretty. <laughs> I do my job well in the McDonald's drive thru used to get tips. <laughs> yeah, granted, it was the rich area, the Four Points McDonald's. The one time there was this Dutch Viper that drew drove up, and you can tell it was, was it gold. No, yeah. it wasn't gold. That's <laughs> Devin, Inside Aventra, he, he's joke, in our yeah. Dragon Age review, one of the Dragon Age, I think Dragon Age Inquisition review, where he's naked. Uh, <laughs> when we first met Devin, he told us that his dad drove a gold viper, and I'm like, oh, cool, like, you know, he, he got a paint of gold. He's like, no, it's gold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what, 24 karat gold? Like, if I pushed it in really hard, it would... <laughs> The metal would bend. Oh my god! It's fine. Turned out his dad did not have a gold viper. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> Anyways, the, the viper drove up, and there was this lady, and they had one of those zipper zip, zipper windows. Oh. <laughs> and gave her the food, and she. Went <laughs> I'm like, oh man. Whoever's Dodge Viper is, is, is going to be pissed. Well, maybe it was her Dodge Viper, not her husband's. I don't know. But I would think that if she it was yours, you would you would take the time to not bash the back <laughs> yes. in the goddamn thing. Oh. 
Anyways, those were my days at the um, rich, rich area uh, McDonald's. Four points. I don't know if it's still there. And no, I don't always work in rich areas or anything. My first job was marble slab. And, you know, I, I got skinny ass arms, but I tell you, when I worked at Marble Slab, Popeye. this side was two <laughs> times bigger than this side. Why I used would to one always, side be? I used to always show people. Yeah, because you're scooping the ice. Oh, I see. <laughs> when you were younger. And I already that's knew. Okay. I already knew. You, that's funny because people say that, but that shit actually happens, at least when you're scooping ice cream. So if you're doing that 24 7, I do believe that this side will get bigger than the others. <laughs> And you go blind. <laughs> or Harry Potter. That's that, that what my mom said. Uh, all right. That's what I got. You had uh, <coughs> you had a one, another one you want to put in? Yeah, I got uh, two things. I got uh, Power World and I got uh, more Fallout TV, but this is for the board game. So Fall, uh, Power World PvP Arena is coming this year. So Power World, very popular, very awesome. I know Patrick is very involved in it. Uh, it's going to add 3v3 action pal battles. So they teased that here with the arena um, battle. And I remember I like any PvP. And I like uh, them expanding the game with new features and stuff like this. You remember when we had that Pokemon Go? I always wanted like a battler. It took them forever to get that in there. It's in there now. But um, yeah. <clears throat> so um, in PAL World currently, you can only have one member of your PAL team summon at a time while exploring. It looks like in this arena, you're going to have three all simultaneously uh, taking part in the uh, big melee. So, uh, is, is that it on that one? It's, Are you time, sure? it's time to jump there's, in. There's no other news on more than pals? More than pals, unfortunately, <laughs> Joe. No additional news on the Damn. April Fool's mode. It's going to happen. Dating your, your Pokemon. <laughs> it's going <laughs> to happen. No. And then I love tabletop <laughs> games. I love board games. Uh, we are getting the cast of the Fallout TV show. It's going to come to the Wasteland I'll be Wharf. Cooper. I, look, you son of a bitch. I want to be the ghoul. I think the ghoul Max. is the Don't. greatest new character added to the Fallout universe from the TV show. We love Walter Goggins, an amazing underrated actor that needs way more recognition. And he, is, he carries the show. I love this guy so much. So you're going to be able to buy Lucy, Max, the ghoul, and CX-404. Which at one point um, the ghoul calls him dog meat, so I'm gonna call him dog meat mm -hmm. in, in the future. Um, and I might get a set of this uh, sent to us because I'm currently talking to Modifius for their new uh, upcoming Fallout Factions, which is a smaller kind of quicker skirmish-based miniatures game. Uh, these are actually for the role-playing game that you can do a role play and Wasteland Warfare, which came out a while ago. It's a little more complex. There's like five dice types. I, I, I like it when there's just one and we can just go and, you know. Yeah, we streamed stream. it, I think. I think we did, yeah. Oh, we streamed the board game version. Yeah. This one's the miniatures game version. Wasteland Warfare is a miniatures game. But anyway, um, I do plan to probably pick up a set because despite what the comment section <laughs> is saying about us, we do like the Fallout TV show. Hate it says, uh, Jeremy Hate Bronk, it. disappointed? <laughs> We get a good adaption, and y'all are still it. shitting on it? <laughs> uh, I did. Yo, guys, April Fool's was 14 days ago. I think you're a little late. <laughs> Bro, you dudes hate everything. This show is absolutely fire. Guys, we did not hate the show. Fucking, I, I love this show. Go watch our, our first video, the first four, and you got that. So uh, I think that's it. Uh, so to just wrap everything up, we enjoyed the Fallout TV hey, show. Dude. <laughs> and we gave it I would love to see your ratings for uh, the entire show and I'm going to predict mostly you're going to put 9 out of 10 right um, with a 5 as average <clears throat> yeah you have to do it on the Angry Joe scale well, 5 is average it, the, it, no do it on whatever scale y'all want but that, just that know that our sense. scale is the Angry Joe scale and ultimately we gave it a 7 now, I rewatched, I've seen it twice now with my girlfriend, so I'm going to raise that seven up to eight. Upon rewatching, I, I really enjoyed it. The boys, I th still think, are at sevens, right? Yeah, I'm, not I'm, not changing, changing. I'm not changing. 
Okay, so, so seven. Gonna fix anything, but they're still gonna be mad. I so made, just because we're at seven or yeah. eight and you're at eight or nine, um, you know, don't don't get too don't don't get too mad at us. <laughs> and you seen it? <laughs> that's pretty mad. A lot of people I, unsubscribing. The lowest rated video in a long time. I don't think you actually subscribed, anyways. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> uh, yeah. But uh, just, yeah, um, we love the series and we love you guys. And just discuss what you liked about it and. Um, and we are waiting for season two. I think season two will be very exciting. Can't wait to shoot on that one, too. Get more money to Fallout, less money to Rings of Power. All right, guys. Thank you all so much uh, for watching. Thank you to our sponsor, G Fuel. 30% brand new, off. Brand new flavors, including a Fallout flavor. I think Nuka Cola. And Quantum, and you got a Duke Nukem flavor. I actually tried this one. This one's good. I'll probably give it about four stars out of five. Very fruity. Did not expect yes. a how different fruity. scale. Oh, we have so Too many, many scales. We do have many a lot scales. of scales. Would you burn but it, you can buy take it, a five star it. rating <laughs> for for board games. Yeah, you can take a four out of five star rating and just double it. So that's eight out of ten. But is that's that is that with five being average or is it with seven being average? <laughs> All right, is that a D or an E or an F? Yeah. And if grade school rating, you delicious. get a C. D for not good. D is not delicious. D sure? minus. When you get D minus in school, did your teacher say that's delicious? I told my mom that said did very well. <laughs> did very well. <laughs> the teacher said I did very well. You remember, <laughs> you know, you could change, what is it, an F? You could change the F to We used to go to across the street to co – King, well, Kinkos. Cool. Yes. Yeah. And then I, I did this. I don't out. think I did it with Joel. I think I did it with my stepbrother and stepsister, where we would change our fucking none. grades. Yes. And, and and before or we you gave just it, study to, and just get good gave grades. Gave it to my but dad. Shut up, Alex. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> and when this shit is tied to our allowances and what we're allowed to do. You guys do, got allowance? Yeah, we got allowance. It's scrubbing the toilets. You are allowed to live in my house. Is the I'm allowance scrubbing that I got. the toilets. I had to make my money. <laughs> we the grades in Kinkos. <laughs> and all the employees would give us dirty looks. Uh, but Again. we didn't care, boy. Did you do that in the comments? <laughs> let me know. So let us know your final rating for the Fallout TV series. <laughs> and on the banana Whether scale. you cheated at Kinko's on your grades. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you on the next Angry Jojo. Bye.